Oh, uh, <laughs> hi there. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be talking about the food chain and uh, the food web. Yeah. The food web is a chain of restaurants that you can find on the internet. Uh, that is not the food web. Please just read the teleprompter. Teleprompter? Oh, teleprompter. <laughs> cool. <laughs> the food chain is the energy flow from one organism to another. <laughs> On the most basic level, the sun gives energy to plants, so the plants grow. Hmm. Plants actually convert the light energy from the sun into a chemical energy like sugar and carbohydrates. We call this photosynthesis. Yeah. And we call plants producers. Really? Uh, I, I thought producers were those people who get you money to make movies and then they won't let you spend it. Just read oh. the script. What? Oh, 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 right, the script. Sure. Uh, uh, oh, yes. The next link in our chain belongs to herbivores. They are the ones that eat the plants. Hmm, uh, herbs, plants, well, makes sense. Yeah. And we call these herbivores primary consumers. Uh, but who eats the herbivores? Welcome to the next link of the chain, carnivores. <laughs> carnivores eat meat, like deer, fish, unicorns, and even insects. Uh, not unicorns. No unicorns? Oh, fine, no unicorns. Uh, and we call these carnivores secondary consumers. So, who eats the carnivores, you ask? <laughs> Why, larger carnivores, of course. Oh, and then there are the omnivores. Oh, like humans. Watch out for those guys. They'll eat anything. <laughs> uh, actually, omnivores eat plants and animals. Yeah. Well, let's look at an example, shall we? So, uh, the sun gives energy to plants, like grass, and the grass is eaten by herbivores, such as grasshoppers. And that's how they get their energy. Yeah. The grasshoppers then are eaten by carnivores, like frogs. And the frogs are eaten by bigger carnivores, like snakes. And the snakes are eaten by even bigger carnivores, like owls. Huh. By the way, only 10% of the energy created by an organism reaches the next level in the food chain. So, if there are 100 calories in a frog eaten by a snake, the snake only gets 10 calories from that meal. The other 90% is wasted on metabolism, growth, and excretion of undigested food. That means poo. Yeah. <clears throat> the last but not least important part of the food chain are the decomposers. Ooh, that, 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 that's kind of gross, actually. Yeah. Decomposers feed on dead plants and animals until they leave behind nutrients. Well, these nutrients then become part of the soil. Therefore, more plants can grow and thrive. So, for example, bacteria and fungi feed on dead leaves, bones of animals, or even poo. And that helps resupply the ecosystem. I know, I know what you're thinking. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. And there you go. That's how your basic food chain works. So, uh, what happens uh, when you take one of the animals out of the food chain? Well, let's say we remove the frog. Yeah, and then there's nothing eating the grasshoppers. If nothing's eating the grasshoppers, well, then they will grow in population and eat all the grass. Oh, and if they eat all the grass, well, guess what? There'll be no more food for the grasshoppers. Meaning, no more grasshoppers. Right. <laughs> no grass, no grasshoppers, no frogs will mean the food supply for the snake is gone. And the snake will leave to try and find food somewhere else. If the snake is gone, then the owl will have to look for food somewhere else, too. Huh. So, really, it's a very delicate business, this food chain. If we remove any part of it, it can start a chain reaction with disastrous consequences. Yeah, remember that the next time you kill a fly. It could be a frog's next meal. Yeah. You know, in nature, there are many food chains that cross over each other. So, really, it's better to call this whole network a food web. Some predators 
those are the animals that hunt for their food, well, some predators share the same food resources. For example, different seabirds might eat the same kind of fish, and while well, other predators could have many food resources in their diet, an arctic fox might eat several kinds of birds, fish, rabbits, squirrels, seal pups, unicorns, crustaceans, and mollusks. I know, I know, I was just seeing if they were paying attention. Arctic foxes do not eat unicorns. No. <clears throat> so, what I'm trying to say is, a simple food chain won't do. It's really more like a complex web. Yeah. By the way, where, where do I fit into the food web? You don't. You're mythical. Mythical? Really? Cool. Huh. Well, that's all I have about food chains and webs and whatnot. Uh, so, if you have any questions, ask your teacher and uh, take care. Alright? Oh, and be good. And, and behave. Yeah. Alright, see ya.